myself with, um, Angel Tate at McKenna's Place, too, also says, hey, Bellamy, how freaked out was your mom about your shower scenes? <laughs> and that would probably, same would go for you as in terms of your family. How do you deal with the, did, did, how do they deal with the steamy stuff? I've had this conversation with Tony mm. And, mm. and his daughter, actually. Yes, too. exactly. Wow. Whose great comment is, ew. 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 <laughs> yes, ew. I was really worried, I have to say. I, I warned my mother about it all and expected um, Armageddon, but she was so supportive and the first one to point out, because I'd never done anything like that before, and she was the first person to point out that I was in the best hands of all time, and if ever I were going to you know, take that leap and do that thing, that this was uh, the safest arena ever, and she was right. She was really s far more solid about it than I was. You know, I, I did a shower scene few years ago for an herbal essence, you know, those orgasm shampoo yes. commercial spots. So after them seeing that on TV, really, they're prepared for anything. They really are. Yeah, yeah. they really, you know, <laughs> everything else is just kind I can, of. I can actually just imagine, because <laughs> I remember those commercials, and I didn't yes. actually know that was you. And I can hear gladiators <laughs> everywhere typing, typing. I hear Googling I happening know, Googling right happening. now. Herbal essence. Um, also, just as a side note, one of the things at Shondaland that we feel really strongly about just as a thing, which is. We never want to make anybody do anything that they're uncomfortable doing. So yeah. one of the things on all of our shows consistently we've always said is we try to make whatever the, the storyline demands as comfortable as possible and they're comfortable Oh, Betsy, doing. yeah, you guys are great about closing the set to visitors and also giving us, like, time. It seems like it's never like, oh, you're doing a naked scene tomorrow. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, we, we get at least a little seven warning. to ten yeah. days <laughs> to sort of prepare and just juice fast time. Take <laughs> they're juice fast. Juice I got to say, on this era. show, there's been this random... I like seeing after the table reads because very often, somewhat before that, we'll say, "Okay, guess what's coming up for you?" <laughs> and it's it's a totally uh, it, it's across the board, men and women, you know. So yes. there was the <laughs> there was the naked confrontation scene between Cyrus and James, where I watched Dan Bukatinsky with juice, you know, for five <laughs> yes. days. Yes. And then you know you'll be doing one, and I'll be like, "Who's got the juice this week?" Yes. <laughs> So Whoever it's has kind the of juice sitting up in front exactly. of them. Oh, yeah, when do you shoot But Shonda yeah. did say one of the most delightful things that I've ever heard a TV creator say about these naked scenes. She said, you know, the guys, they, they can be naked because they can be naked because we like naked guys. But the women, like, you can wear whatever you want. Like, however as much or as right. little as you want to wear. That's right. Whatever you're comfortable with, that's what, you sh that's what I want you to do. Sometimes, like, limitations. Necessity, mother of invention. Exactly, breed creativity, Boom. I think. Boom. <laughs> Okay, um, so Colleen Elmerose, 1475, what do you love most about your characters? Uh, I'd like to answer what I love most about Bellamy's character. Oh, that is Ooh. such a great way to deal with the question. I you mean, so I, I could answer the question. Mine, but I'd really love to talk about Bellamy's character more than mine right at this moment because um, I'm obsessed with the First Lady on the show. Right. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite things about uh, Bellamy's performance of the First Lady is – I both love and hate her within one episode and sometimes within one scene. There was these layers of her, you know, eating other people for lunch easily, anybody in the White House, um, and being such a monster with such, which that smile. But then there are other moments, even within a scene, where you feel for the First Lady. There's these moments of vulnerability and you see that she's really human and has this kind of almost fragility around the president. And then and there, like, you get these peaks of, like, her wanting to be, have his love or approval. And it's heartbreaking. Yet at the same time, I want to choke her. So it's, <laughs> it's, I mean, just as a viewer, it's so fun. And I just love the um, multifaceted, you know, that you're not good or bad. You're neither. You're sort of everything. What I love about Abby is that she sees everything, right? And she feels everything. But she's so determined not to let you know that. But you know because you have this, like, translucence. So I feel everything you feel, even when there's a, a wall up and it's crushing. And to know, like, it's amazing because we've had these... We've gotten to know everybody's history, right? Mm -hmm. So to know everything that you're bringing to the moment that you're in and then to watch you walk through these moments, they just crush me. Like that scene with you and Columbus outside, and they had just gotten married, and was it a fake the marriage? Trophy wife, the trophy yes, wife, really and they were guy. dancing, and, and then you guys had this scene outside that literally broke my heart. 